ABC 4 News at 6 starts now. Less than one week after an NBC4 I-Team investigation into the agency that is supposed to police toxic polluters comes a call for action. And now state lawmakers are demanding an independent review to see if that same state agency is really doing its job. Good evening again. It's 6 o'clock and it's Monday. I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Lucy Nolan. That call for an independent review comes only days after our I-Team report. Insiders claimed a pattern of weak enforcement by the Department of Toxic Substances Control. NBC4's Joel Grover is in the newsroom right now with the latest on the investigation. Joel? Well, Lucy, at least four senators are now behind the call for an independent investigation of the DTSC. That's the agency that's supposed to protect us from poisons dumped in our water and soil. As we revealed last week, insiders say this agency is not always doing its job. I was outraged. State Senator Kevin DeLeon reacting to our I-Team investigation. In it, we exposed companies like this hazardous waste recycling plant in suburban L.A. County, which was ordered 17 years ago by the state to clean up toxic chemicals in the groundwater, but still hasn't done it. Chemicals like hexavalent chromium. Hexavalent chromium can be very harmful. The carcinogen that sickened a community in the movie Aaron Brockovich. So this is a very serious issue. Uh, because what's at stake here is the safety of everyday uh, constituents, everyday folks. Yeah. Folks like Shirley White. I lost my eldest daughter two and a half years ago. Four members of White's family have had cancer while living near that hazardous waste plant that still hasn't cleaned up the groundwater. Why somebody hasn't closed him down, I, that makes you wonder too what's going on. That's what Senator DeLeon and his colleagues want to find out. So they're now asking the Senate Office of Oversight to investigate the Department of Toxic Substances Control. There may be too close of a relationship between the department, the bureaucrats, and the alleged polluters. That relationship was described in this report put out by the nonprofit Consumer Watchdog, which said the DTSC often allows polluters to operate on expired permits. Regular people who live in communities that are bombarded with toxic chemicals. They don't make big campaign contributions. State senators are vowing to find out why the DTSC isn't enforcing California's pollution laws, some of the toughest in the nation. We've got to get to the bottom of this. Senator DeLeon has also dem demanded a meeting with the head of the DTSC, Debbie Raphael, and he says he'll even consider legislation to make sure this agency protects us from chemicals dumped in our neighborhoods. Chuck and Lucy, back to you.